Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today we're going to be going over the class event for Geomancer. Uh, three teams, high, mid, and low. And then after that, we'll just be doing deeper invasion, deeper underspire, maybe some PvP, maybe some epic trials. You know how it goes. You never know what we're going to get into on these live streams. Sometimes a list or a guide, you never know. You never know what's going to pop up, especially on a Thursday. We'll do the class event real quick, and then, hey, if you guys have any ideas what you want to see, let me know. I need to start thinking more ahead about that. Today was kind of crazy. Uh, my power was out for a couple hours this morning, which threw me off a little bit. That's why we're starting a little bit late. Um, I probably could have got a, yeah, but, you know, I was like, oh, I'm just going to start 30 minutes late. But let me get everything set up here. Shouldn't take too long. Got that. Description. Let's put the intro. Chapters will be in, uh, you know, click on the video, you can jump around. Like, uh, who's that? House of Pain. Crisscross. Um, intro. Zero, 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 zero. Save. Sauna was first, then Livewire, then Funky Town. You think I can remember that? Sauna, Livewire, Funky Town. Sauna, Livewire, Funky Town. S-L-F. S-L-F. You think I can remember that? Sauna, Livewire, Funky Town. Probably not. Oh, got that, got that. Let's jump into the chat. Nice rainy day out there, yeah. Take the good with the bad. It rains a lot. Sometimes your power goes out. I don't know why. It rained. It rained a little bit, so a power went out, you know? It rained, I guess. Took them two hours. Not sure why. What are you doing? Oh, it's raining. Uh-oh. Power went out because it rained. What happened? I think uh, somebody had to hit a pole or something, because why else would it... It's not like it's storming. There's not high winds, lightning, tornadoes, hurricanes, tsunamis, earthquakes. No. It's just raining. It's just water, and I don't know why. Not sure why the power went out, but had to be some dummy. You know how it is. I tell you all all the time how people can't drive around here. I guess they can't drive like across the United States, but around here it's pretty bad. Like insurance rates are through the roof, even if you've never had anything, not even a speeding ticket. Because everybody around here sucks at driving, and they think they're awesome, but they are t freaking terrible. They will honk at you for just trying to go around them because they're going slow. They want you to stay behind them. Just stay back there and go slow. You know? Don't don't go around me or I'm going to honk at you. Even if you do it very smoothly with no danger to anybody. Just, you know, I'm just getting around you, buddy, because you're going slow. Honk, honk, honk. Okay, like, what are you honking about? I'm just getting around. Like, you want me to go slow? Like, is are you trying to control me or something? Like, what's going on here? You're weird. You're a weirdo. Like, why would you want me up your butt? Like, is that satisfying to you? That's what I feel like. Like, they want people in their their butt or something. Because th otherwise they're honking. Like, no, no, please stay in my butt. Like, what? Don't you want me around you and, like, out of your life? Like, let's go. Like, think think smarter. Unless you're just, I don't know. I don't know what, you, what they're thinking. Turn in your tickets to the train. Hit that like button. Hopefully y'all can hear me. Already ranting about driving in electric companies and how uh take some two hours because it's raining out to get the power back on. Um, hopefully I get charged a little less on my power bill now because I haven't had, had no electricity for two hours. Yeah. Should get charged a little less, right? They'll probably like figure a way around that. I think they'd be scrambling to get it back on because it's costing them so much money. Mm hmm, 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 hmm. All right, we got Sauna, Livewire, Funky Town, Mark. Sauna says celebrate good times. Oh, yeah. Livewire says karate, the like button, and power, oh, no. <laughs> That's what I'm going to interpret that as. Funky Town, good day. Good morning, uh, Mark. Sauna says hi to everybody. The stupidity of people still amazes me. I still need to do that freaking dash cam. I don't know why. You know how I am, though. It takes me forever to do things get into my little groove all right so class challenge power up your heroes class geomancer defeat enemy champions to gain bonus class champion experience 
sure most of you have already started on this, but hey, you never know. It's better than uh, doing it at like 10 o'clock tonight or something crazy. Uh, let me grab my mail and, and whatnot. Just in case, you never know. Could be a couple gems in there. Okay, what's this say? Complete a delve, so I'll do that too. I've been doing that. That's like my cue to be responsible and do something I should do anyway. That's what I that's what I that's how I treat the XP booster. I was talking about that in a previous stream. I treat the XP booster like it's a thing that is telling you to do things that you should be doing anyway. Just a little bit of extra it's a little nudge. Like, hey, you should be probably doing this, you know. So I'm gonna say go complete a delve. You don't feel like you don't do that every day. Like, I don't do it every day, but when it says it right there, it kind of nudges me in that direction. I'm like, okay, yeah, sure. I'll go do it, I guess. So that's a good thing. Like, I don't, I don't like the the XP booster as a thing, like, the reward of it and doing it without doing anything else at the same time and just wasting your time for 15 minutes. But, uh, like, the idea of going from 1555 to 1556, like... But, you know, it's just another... Like, it's nudging me. Oh, go do a delve. Like, that's the good part. Like, I get the delve done when I should be doing it anyway. Or go do the... Go do the dungeon, yeah? Go complete the adventure board. It's just a little, It's a nice little thing that gives you another reason to do something you should already be doing. Um, class event. What do we got? Geomancer. Defeat the champions to power up this class. So, um... Class event... You want to not invest anything unless you're a very, very specific person. And most people will try to do it for free. They don't mess around and go for all rewards. It's the only event in the game where you don't go for all rewards. You should be going for all rewards in every other event in the game. I can't even think of one. Like, what else? Like, Underspire, maybe? Underspire, if you don't have enough gems. It's like the only other thing. That you wouldn't go all the way to full completion. Can't think of anything else where you don't go for all rewards. You know, arena, but that's like repeatable. It's not, there's no end to it. It's not really like a, I mean, I think you should go to the Ritz at least and maybe to the Chaos Orb or at least get the first one. But um, maybe you could technically say that too, the arena. But yeah, class event, underspire, arena. Those are like the only three where you don't go all the way all the time. If you're, if you're an in-game player with over 10k gems, then you should do the Underspire every day, every week to full completion. Um, but the class event, different story. Nobody, not one person, is, <laughs> has to do it all the way to full completion. So let's make some teams. Same old Hellcrag restriction here. Kinda. It's Hellcrag constructs, probably. Yep. Okay. Uh, Mark says, dumb question, where did the like button go? It's right there. I see it, man. It's under Underspire. You, know, you see my picture. You see join. You see analytics. You see edit video. And you see the... I don't know if you guys see all that, but... It's gone for you? What? That's crazy. I see it. Hmm. Strange. Better go find it. Better go find it. All right. Anyway, what are we going to do here? Colossus, no. Turnabog, maybe. Dragonstone Guardian, eh, maybe. City Axis is pretty good. Zenith is pretty good. Chalcedony, uh, maybe. If you have, if that's the, like your only thing. So I feel like I, that's the three. <laughs> there you go. There's your three teams. Sorry. Um, But yeah, we really don't have a high level team unless you're going to go with a weapon. We could do. Hmm. Okay, so these are legendary, so that's more like a mid-level. Another legendary. Maybe I'll go with the... Let's see, let's see. Like, if you have the red Makako, that might be the best way to go for this event. I can't wait till I get it, but they haven't given me any, not a single. I just got Judgment, by the way, and now I only need four troops. It's so crazy, it just keeps getting better and better. I need Storm Guard, and I need two Sentinels, and I need Horde Mimic Mythic, and that's it. I don't even have a second row of Unowned. 
I have four unowned, and that's it. I got judgment yesterday while opening vault keys. I don't know what I'm trying to say there, but um, I don't have the. What I'm trying to say is I don't have the red macaco. I don't even have one ingredient to it, but I have everything else in the game. That's kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, Dawnbringer, Dustbringer, Red Macaco. Should probably be your first thoughts. Unless you're gonna just go up City Axis. Doomed Bulge is good. Uh, you could do the the Spade with with Chalcedony maybe, but that's a little, uh, not a high level. I'm trying to do the high level. Uh, da -da -da -da. I think I'm looking for Duskbringer. That's my secret. Somebody asked me what my favorite weapon was. And, uh, where the heck is it? Uh, 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 uh. Let's do rarity. Maybe I can find it this way. But not in here? Am I just... Stupid. Uh, 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 uh. There it is. But I was thinking... Let's go base rarity... Definitely churn a bog. This boosted off of uh, purple allies. He's a purple ally. He does brown. Could even put him ahead of Dustbringer, maybe. So we're looking at purple allies. City Axis. Then we kind of got the same. I almost want to do just like three churn a bogs. Purple. Big old churn a bog team. This is going to be a weird team. What's the tower do? Hmm. Create a gargoyle gem. Might just put that on there for fun. But it's not uh, purple, so... It's going to be a weird team. Might do like double Chernabog City Axis or something. Maybe go like that. I don't know. This, this seems weird, but it might work. Let's see what happens. And... And... Geomancer? Then purple and brown. We're just trying to get up the Dustbringer and cast it, and maybe Obsidiaxis somehow gets up later, but he's way down there. Maybe I put the other Chernabog at the bottom. Uh, no. This? Sure. Then the type of team I would usually build. Way too much purple and brown for my liking. Maybe Dragonstone Guardian would be better. But no, we need purple. We need purple. We have to have purple. That's the reason my team looks weird. Freeze a random enemy, create three gargoyle gems, and gain an extra turn. That might be fun. Let's do that instead. Let's try to make a competent team and not just do all. Explode a gem, then explode a random gem for each skull destroyed. Convert all green gems to brown, then create three brown dragon gems. Evil gargoyle gems... Pull to the front. Splash damage. It might help. Maybe I just want to mix it up like that. Set up City Axis. Now we have all purple, but we have like Eternal Sentinel can actually get up because it has yellow. Onyx Gargoyle can actually get up because it has blue. Um, you know, the Dustbringer can actually get up because it has green. We got, might have to change our banner now. Brown, purple, minus yellow. No. Let's look at purple. Purple. Professor's here. Did you get it, Mark? Yeah. Yeah, good job, dude. Nice. Sauna with the gifted running out there. Cape of flowing. Sword of shining. Doing the splits. Doing karate. Doing yoga. Stretching. Awkwardly stretching in front of people. <laughs> <clears throat> doing the party and then mark runs up doing the party boy he says i now own stellarix couldn't have done it without Cindy answering my dumb question thanks Cindy and sinners for all hey no problem dude that's your 20th super on a live stream too did you know that pretty cool uh mark is restarting liver says you have to back out of chat on phone to see the like 
Rain Man. Professor. It is powerful, dude. And it, like, loops, too, which is cool. Professor with the two. He says, all right, guys, you know, stop stretching, stop doing yoga, stop doing the party boy and tearing your pants off. And uh, let's get this thing started. Professor, teaching people. Okay, purple. Purple, purple, purple. Purple and what? Purple and brown. Purple and brown and minus green? No. Purple and brown and minus blue? No. Purple and brown and minus yellow? No. So we have nothing. Cool. What's the color we're missing? That's what you think. So I think red? Green, purple, minus red. Purple, green. I guess we go with that. Dustbringer. All right, this is what I'm going to go with for my high level team. It's only high level because of this, which isn't, you know, the more time that passes, the less high level it gets, really. But it's my secret, like, little weapon. I, If I had red macaco, it'd probably be in there, but I don't have it. And they don't want to give me any ingredients at all for it. I don't even have the first weapon. Okay, let's get it up. Let's get her up. This is free, right? Let's do this first. And oh, we don't need it. So I was thinking that bottom troop can put on gargoyle gems, and then the Chernobog can blow them up. So later on, if you actually don't one-shot with the Dustbringer, you have something else to do. Kind of just some fun stuff around it. It's really the it's really Chernobog and Dustbringer, and then the other other two things are just there kind of for fun, creating gargoyle gems, maybe cleaning some stuff up with this one. Free skulls. We need brown or purple. We don't have it. Got the gargoyle. He can probably get the job done. Yeah, bang. Oh, I should put a chapter in. God, got to help me with these chapters. I forgot already. Class, event, high, level. We'll say 1730. Dang, that took me a while to get there, huh? We're already 17 minutes deep. What a dummy I am. <sighs> it's raining cats and dogs out there. There's lots of poodles. Dad jokes for the win. Isn't there more to that joke, though? Something about cats. Mm-hmm. There's lots of poodles out there. Did I hear that? Where did I hear that? Try on the stupid radio. Sometimes you get in your car and you just put the radio on. You, for, you don't feel like going the extra mile and putting on Bluetooth or something. You're listening to the stupid radio disc jockeys talking about dumb stuff. They do the little game where they... Starts with this letter. Name, name a, f name a, name a fruit that starts with F. That's one I could not get. Then they said one, and I was like, oh yeah. But you gotta think outside the box a little bit. Name a fruit that starts with F. I guess we should have Chernobog up if we're gonna do that, huh? Brrr, bang. Anybody got one? Professor says one part for Ruby and Forge next week. That's good info. Thank you so much. So we're starting to get the, the, the pieces to the puzzle of the macaco. Mark says fudge. You never heard the poodle joke? I had never heard it either until I heard it on the radio. Or wherever it was. Okay, free... Gargoyle gems. And my cleanup option. Hey, yeah, right, Sana? I might do that. I might do that. Nah, I wouldn't. I saw Karma in action yesterday, and I felt bad for the person. Even though, I guess, uh, I don't know. 
Just because somebody gets the karma doesn't mean you have to like be sad, like be happy, happy about it. Still feel bad for him sometimes. Uh. Yep. Let's just do this. Gargoyle. Let's do the skulls and then the gargoyle. It's like when you see a rotten kid fall. You still feel bad. Gah. Hope he didn't get hurt. No, I don't like him very much. Uh, da, da, da. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Quit taking 50 turns. Thank you. And... This first. Then this. And that fight took way too long. Yeah, I don't like it if you do it on purpose. I don't think I've ever done that, for real. Like, a person's walking next to a puddle and you just drive your car through the puddle on purpose. Oh, my dog is barking. Hold on. Sorry about that. I'm back. <laughs> I think a UPS truck just scared him. He was he was sleeping. And then he hears this loud truck and he jumps up. He's not like an awesome guard dog. <laughs> Rocky was a little bit better, actually. Uh, what do we do here? Purple brown. All right, sure, blue, I guess. Ah, oh, what'd I do there? That was a mistake. Um, purple. He barked, like, so crazy that it made me jump up, you know? He usually doesn't bark like that. Then it was just the freaking UPS. Not even for us. Like, thanks, dude. He likes to bark at the neighbor that... Like, isn't the problem, you know? <laughs> like, dude, barking at the wrong people. Uh, Mark, unfortunately, no. We found, like, this amazing house that we really wanted, and then it didn't. they didn't take dogs. That was the most recent thing. We're still looking. We're thinking about, like, maybe going somewhere tomorrow and trying to... Like, a mortgage broker, a realtor. Like, we gotta do something. She's off work tomorrow, so we gotta do something. You know, I can't... She was sick for so long, like I said. <sighs> kind of slowed it down. And now she's better. And then we find that house, and we're like... That's what happens. I find one, and I really love it. And then I go all in, like I'm on the, the hyper... Like the... What? Tunnel vision? Like, I want that one. That's happened like three times now. So right now, kind of nothing, really. We just have, like, a couple. We've been looking, looking. Everybody around us is looking for us. People are sending us things. A lot of the time, they forget that we have a dog, or, you know, they send us one that's, like, a million dollars. Or they'll send us a tiny house where we'd have to be a bunch of clowns jumping out of a car, you know? There's always something wrong with it, because we have a lot. We're needy. Like, we're... We're kind of bougie and needy. And it's not that we're... Because we are we have money or anything. It's because we have so many people and a pet. And we can't... 
move super far because of her job and we need like a professional to help us and then I kind of like get the tunnel vision on one website too and I won't look I'm starting to look at the other ones because some houses aren't if you're looking for they're not all on like if you choose one like say Zillow or something not every single house for rent or for sale is on Zillow. Like, they might choose a different one to... Like, obviously, but... No, I'm learning that. It's been a long time since I've had to... Like, I don't have to, by the way. I'm not having to. I just want to really bad. Like, I don't want people thinking, like, I have to move and it's an emergency. It's just, like... For my mental health, it's kind of an emergency, you know what I mean? It's a mental health emergency. I am cognizant of my craziness, and I need to get away. Gargoyle! Not helping very much. I should probably not cast him until I cast Dustbringer at least. This first, then this. Another thing is, like, some days are crazy and I'm so annoyed. That when I have a peaceful day, I just want to enjoy it. You know what I mean? Alright, so there is the high level team. Don't worry about that little lock thing. That's just the, the bug, the glitch they haven't fixed yet. That's the dumbest, that's one of the dumbest things ever. Because can't you still, you can still like cheat in weapons, right? So they didn't fix anything. All they did was break it more. Have you ever seen that? <laughs> a developer just breaking something more instead of fixing it? I guess that happens all the time, huh? Yeah, he was borking. Yoke is here. Keep grinding, Sana. Mark says I used the Stella three times Tok Shaka and went to level 12 Explorer. Wow, at two shot. There you go. See, Mark, our stats aren't so crazy. Like, you can do exactly what I'm doing. I two-shot and explore at 12 as well. That's what I'm trying to say about stats. It doesn't... It's not always so crazy that... You know, if I if I kill something with two shots of skulls... For, for, you, for it to make a difference... You know, you would have to have so much less attack than me. And if it takes three shots for you, that's not even that crazy. It's not going to take four shots... Like as far as Stellarix go, if my if if the enemy has 200 HP, and mine does, or let's say it has 150 HP, let's say the enemy has 150 total HP, just for this example, which that probably would never happen, but you know, it takes me two shots, my Stellarix does 100, and then it does 100, and it kills the four enemies. If yours does 75, it still does, uh, it still kills it in two shots. If yours does 79, 80, 84, 93. Like, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter as much as you think, like, the stats all the time. Sometimes it does, but it's not always like, oh, I can't do that because of the stats. Like, I two-shot with Stellarix, you two-shot with Stellarix. It's because the enemies have this much HP and Stellarix hits for this much. And it's going to take two shots for every person, no matter what your magic is. It'd be the same example with, with Skulls and Attack. If the enemy has 100 HP... And my skulls do 75, which is probably too high. It still takes me two skulls to kill them. And if your skulls do 51, you can still kill them in two skulls. The stats have to be wildly different for stats to matter. Like it's a, if it's a beginner taking advice from me, that's why I try to give you teams with no legendaries, no mythics. I try to build them as cheap as possible to try to help as much as I can. But like the di the difference between me and like a mid game player isn't as much as you would think. It's not that crazy. If it takes me two shots, it probably takes you two shots. But that's the high level team. Now money's a different story, you know. No, never mind. Yeah, that's a different story, uh, in my opinion. Stats are one thing, but if somebody's VIP twenty and you're VIP one, that's a big gap, a big difference. All right, let's take this off. Let's just clear the whole team out. We're going to do a mid-level. Um, 
probably Obsidia Axis is, right? You could throw a Dragonstone Guardian on there if you want. Let's start with Obsidia Axis. Kind of like the Chernabog for the Dust Plume, since there's like no other great mana generator. Start there, weapon. Um, most of y'all have the wand. We can use the wand, right? If you don't have the wand, just go to Hellcrag and use something else. You got the Watchful Blade, red and brown. Oops, nah, Obsidian Libram would be terrible, because look how much purple and brown we already have. But yeah, the Watchful Blade is the substitute if you don't have the wand. But I'm going to throw the wand up there because I know most of y'all have it. It's really easy to get. If you don't have the wand, <clears throat> I'll make a low-level team without the wand. So don't worry. Might keep Obsidian Axis up top. And hey, let's put that other dragon. We never put the other dragon in there. Throw him on the team, maybe. A little cleanup crew. Hey, he does more, actually. 54 to all enemies. 52, but that's boosted. So this probably actually does more. That's why most, you, most, you see most people doing Obsidian Axis. Instead of Dragonstone Guardian. Because this has a boost ratio. And that doesn't. So even though it says it does more damage. This probably does more damage 99% of the time. Unless you have zero Gargoyle Gems or Stone Blocks. Geomancer might be the way to go still. And then Banner. We got brown, 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 brown. Purple, purple, purple. Okay, yellow, green is fine. It's only on the wand. And we got brown, 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 brown. Purple, purple. So brown is more important than purple. So we got brown, purple, minus green. I think that's good. So let's be the mid-level team. No Mythics. No Dustbringer. No Red Macockle. No Dawnbringer. It's just Legendaries and the wand. Put a chapter in. Class event mid level. 33. Holy, I'm just like taking forever today. Some days we're on, we're on like 15 minutes getting stuff done, but today we're taking forever. Let's go see how it performs. Oh, my chat disconnected. What's up with that? Anita's here. Marks does 117 per shot. Yeah, that's good. You gold orbed it? Or you mean... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job. <clears throat> I wonder if I've done that yet. I think I probably should have. Get it gold deleted. It gets magic, so... <clears throat> Cool. I might even be able to put that uh, Dragonstone Guardian up a slot. Because my wand would still catch like green, red, blue. I'm going to do that. Might even be able to throw it below Chernabog, but Chernabog's just never going to get up anyway, so. He's just there to make a brown storm. Like every turn. Unless the class does that. Which I don't think so. No. Alright, let's go again. The Obsidian Libram? Yeah. Well, you know, it's more of like a... Uh, like, think Mountain Crusher, but... Better, maybe, sometimes. 
Like Obsidian Librum is like, <clears throat> when you used to use Mountain Crusher, maybe you whip out the Obsidian Librum instead. Because Wand has blesses and curses and every, uses every single color. Like, it's, it's probably not better than the Wand. You've seen the Wand in, like, PvP, too. The Obsidian Librum's never going to solo somebody, but the Wand will. So I'll never, like, I'm not going to agree that it's better than the Wand, but... It's better, it's like a, a souped-up Mountain Crusher. Beg for mercies here. Make sure I got Nisha's on. I do. Okay. It's double checking. All right, we'll finish this one off. These three, and then we'll go make a low-level team. See what we can do. Probably already know though. I think I think Calcedoni still works good enough for a person that. For some reason, doesn't have Obsidian Axis or Dragonstone Guardian or Turn of Bog or the Wand or Dustbringer. Like, it still works good enough. It's just not like we're not excited about it anymore. Mm. That's kind of what we did. Where did we do that? The Underspire? Somewhere. And then, like, Epic Trials. You still, like, have to use her in Epic Trials. <clears throat> Let's get this class event done. Get these gems. Move on with our life. Go play. Like, Wednesday and Thursday are great days to catch up. Mondays and Sundays are like your, hey, I, won't, I don't really want to play too much. But, I guess it depends. You can make that Wednesday and Thursday, too. It's like Tuesday and... You can make any any weekend day or a chill day if you wanted to. I just think Friday is like the, not the best day. Sometimes a new mythic will come out or something new. So most people aren't chilling on a Friday. Uh, same with Monday, though. Like, you could chill on a Monday, but most people don't want to because it's all the new stuff. Alright, one more. Supernova's here! I love how Supernova got a new job. He said he probably wouldn't be able to make it to the streams, and he still comes to the streams. I love it. Appreciate it. It means you're putting in the extra effort. Yeah, for the rest of this week, tomorrow, I think we got a faction, right? I keep forgetting which faction it is. And then next weekend, we got the Vault Event. We'll have spoilers on Saturday. Undercutter's Pizza will beat it to me. Beat it to me. Beat me to it. But it's okay. We do it on a stream. We're different. You quit worrying about that. I worry about stuff that I shouldn't worry about sometimes. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm not even competing with that person anymore, so. Yeah. Oh well. If they want to keep being trash, they can keep being tra trash by themselves. D5! Okay, yeah, because it's Queen Beatrix. It's, it's one of the easier ones. I keep forgetting. D5. Queen Beatrix. You're still waiting on the call for orientation? All right, there you go, mid-level team. That just means no mythics and no, like, crazy weapons. You might consider Wand a crazy weapon, but we ran a poll. I keep saying it. I, that's why I ran the poll, so I would know. There was, like, 20-something people here, maybe even 30, and 80% of them had the Wand. So I consider that fine for mid-level. Vault event is something you should be doing crazy, like, more than anything else anyway, and then that's how you get the tarot card, which you will then turn into the Wand of Stars, so. Alright, let's try to make a low-level team. That means no Mythics, no Legendaries. We'll try not to use the Wand. 
<clears throat> means that whole team is down the drain. But I think you would just do this, y'all. Go back to this. It's good enough for a class event. Like, Kalsadani used to be so good, you could use it in PvP, you could use it in Explorer 12, you could use it in super hard level 500 factions. And now it's just like, more like a class event, under spire, if you have to type of thing. You could even do Obsidian Libram if you want. I just think the Watchful Blade's better because it uses two different colors that aren't brown or yellow. And it makes brown. You can even throw it in last slot. Doesn't really matter. Stick with the Geomancer. <clears throat> mm, I guess brown. What do we do here? This is okay. Rat Banner. Let's just do that. All right, we're on a few here. I'll put a chapter in. A ch, -ch, -ch chapter. Class event. Yeah, my rants for today are the power company and people sucking at driving, which is always my rant. <clears throat> Somebody honked at me because I went around them on the highway where there was three la freaking three lanes. They were in the fast lane, going slow. And I just went in the middle lane, went around them, and they honked at me. <laughs> like, what? That's exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, got yellow, okay, purple. Yellow and brown, or yellow and purple, I mean. We could throw this first, just to make sure there's more brown on the board. Let's see if it works, though. Because there are 10 right now. Let's see after we do this, if, is there more than 10? Nope. <laughs> it won't loop like it used to, but still good enough for a low-level team. What hits harder? This does 78, and this does 72. Okay. Timestamp! Road Rage Cam needed. Yes. And I, and I have one. I'm just stupid. Always way too much else going on. One of these days, I'll, I'll move. I'll have... No stress, and I'll wake up thinking, let's let's put that dash cam up and start a new YouTube channel. <clears throat> or even post it on here, I don't know. We'll see. You think I should start a new channel or just post it on here? Even even once I get the dash cam up, I would have to... It'd probably take even longer after that. Something would have to happen, and then I'd have to figure out how to pull the video off of it and put it on YouTube and add the commentary, or maybe I'd do... Maybe it can record my commentary live. I don't know. Yeah, and I can have Taylor Swift the bump in? No, that'd be, that'd be the quickest way to get uh, demonetized. The Great Juggling Act, Work, Family, Bill, Sleep. Work, Family, Bills, Sleep. Work, Family, Bills, Sleep. Why'd I do that? That was horrible. That was a noob move. Taking the brown off the board. Hey, I'm about to cast Kalsadani, which I'm hoping will loop on brown. Let's take more brown off the board, stupid. I'm dumb. Sometimes it's more comfortable to cast the second slot. You guys ever do that? Okay, you know this team. I'll finish this later. We're pretty close. I could probably keep going, but let's let's do some other stuff. 
<clears throat> now, yeah, I was driving yesterday, and these two people... You, I hate it when people... One person's in the fast lane, right? And they're going... Let's say the speed limit's 55 or something. And the person in the fast lane is going 55. And the person in the middle lane is going 55. And then there's like a giant semi-truck in the slow lane or something. And like two of them. Like a convoy of semi-trucks in the slow lane. So you can't go... You're not going over there. And these two dummies are going the exact same speed. Right next to each other. Pretty much holding hands. And then they... And then there's a giant parade behind them of people that just want to go... Uh, be normal... And go a little bit faster than the speed limit on the highway. Do you know what? Do they just not? They don't care? They have a no... That, that's so selfish to me. You don't use your... You have a mirror. Like, there's a thing. It's like above you and to the... It's like to the right and above you a little bit. And it's like this... It's a reflective piece of glass. And you look into it and you can see behind you. That's what it does. It's like magic. You look into it and you can see behind you. Or you can see your doppelganger. You can see yourself in it. You know, check your makeup. Look for a bat in the cave. You got a little broccoli in your teeth. You got a pimple or something. You know, fix fix your hair. Something. That's what it, it's not, you know. It's also for looking behind you. Like, to see the road behind you. It's not only to, like, pick your pimples and pick your nose and stuff. It's not the only reason it's there. And then there's the side mirrors, too. They're outside of your car. You know those things? You know, they're outside of your window. You look in, there's one on the left. There's one on the right. You're supposed to use both of them <clears throat> as the driver. Even though there's one on the right and it's way over there, it's not for the passenger. That's for you. That's for you. You're the driver. All the mirrors are for you. That's not like a special mirror for the passenger for them to look at their pimples. No. That's so you can see to the right and behind your car. That's what that mirror is for, for you, the driver. Did you know that? None of the mirrors are for the passengers. I don't know what you're thinking. Except for the one they pull down, like the flap, and they always leave it down. You get in the car and hit your head. That one, yes, there's one for the passenger. If they pull the flap down, the sun visor, and there's a little mirror there. Yeah, that's the one you're supposed to look at your pimples and your boogers and stuff. Not the ones that are for the road, for driving, for the car. That's for looking at the road. Not your pimples, not your boogers. Not looking down the back of your throat, looking at your dingle dongle. So use them. That's all I'm saying. Just use them. Like, look in it every once in a while. You know, don't be so. I'm in my own world. Da, 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 da. Driving the speed limit. Do, 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 do. And I'm just. I'm, uh, who cares about everybody else? <laughs> I don't do, 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 do. I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> I'm just by myself. <laughs> I'm just going to worry about it. <laughs> Just by myself. <laughs> Stupid. Idiot. Dummy. Can't believe it. Use one of those reflective pieces of glass to look. That's what they're for. And then when you use it and you look in it. And you adjust it because you were looking down your nose and up your throat. Just move it a little bit so you can see the road like it's supposed to be. And then you look in it. And you see a parade. You made a funeral procession. You know, you got a whole parade behind you of 50,000 people. Like, whoa. I must be doing... What am I... And then there's nobody in front of you. There's tumbleweeds. There's just deers frolicking. There's birds eating food in the middle of the road. There's just people walking. There's nothing. There's nothing in front of you. Because you're blocking everybody behind you. There's 50,000 people in a parade behind you. And there's nothing. There's tumbleweeds. There's nothing in front of you. Because you and this dumb idiot are driving the same exact speed. And nobody can get around you. You're horrible. I hate you. Get over. Why don't you be his butt? Like, get over behind him or something. Like, you guys can be friends like that. Let other people go around. Get out of the way. Then you're going to honk at me when I finally can go around you. You just made me, you just made me late. You probably, you just made me, you made every single person, I've, I've said this a million times, I don't care, because it's annoying. If there's 50 people lined up behind you, and they're all 30 seconds more late, or 3 minutes more late, how much time are you costing the world by being a stupid idiot? 
not using your mirrors. And not caring or something. I think they're stupid most of the time. They're just dumb. They don't know how to use a mirror. I I'm hoping for my own sake. For my own sanity. I'm just hoping they're stupid and not selfish. The main character syndrome thing. Dopey doe, here's your time. You go, this is my lane. And I don't care about nobody else. And I'm just going to be careful and drive exactly the speed limit. And I'm going to drive right alongside of this guy. Because he has, I like his car or something. Stupid. So annoying. Get out of the way. Alright, what are we doing? XP Booster says complete a delve. And then the power company, it rained a little bit. Oh no. Somebody, is anybody here from the power company? Can you tell me why? Like, had, somebody had to crash. Like, somebody had to flip their car 50 times into a pole. Because it was down for two hours because it rained a little bit. No lightning. No tornadoes. No. No tsunamis. What am I doing, Hellgate? So the XP booster is asking me to do this, so I'm going to do it. I'm using High King Iron Gut, Wand of Stars, Thrasku, and Harpy Mage. You got the call for Monday, Supernova? Oh, yeah. Take that coffee away from me. Mark says, pimples and boogers, scratchers and brewskis. <laughs> Blasphemy, says Ivy. The rant train. Choo-choo. Oh, no. He did, Mark. Crazy. Work, family, bills, sleep. Yeah, sometimes it feels like that, Supernova. You wake up. You go to work. You pay some bills. Somebody needs something. You do it. And then you go to bed. I need a haircut. I went to the grocery store by myself the other day. <clears throat> Not that that's crazy. But usually, like, we both go together. And I said, I was like, I'm going. I don't want to do it tonight. I want to, let's get it over with. So I went yesterday by myself to the store. And I crushed it. I did it super fast and it was cheaper. How's that possible? I must have forgot something. That's what I kept saying. Like, I had to forget something. Like, what'd I forget? You send the, you send a man to the grocery store by himself to get all the groceries. He's gonna forget something. Guarantee it. I forgot something. And they don't, they're not telling me what it is, but I know. I bet you I did. And you just wanna, like, good job! Good, <laughs> good job, buddy! You did it. Like a kid rides his uh, bike for the first time with the training wheels on it. That's great. Good job, buddy. Keep going. Got the training wheels. But, hey. You did it. Oh, no. I probably can't devour. Yep. Gotta do this. Gotta curse him. That's why it's here. Now I can devour I do have my own language. I think it's uh, interesting, right? You don't want to hear the same words every day, do ya? Five legendary ingots or a genie's lamp. He says, would you rather buy a turd for $3,000 or a broken Hot Wheel with two wheels on it for $50? I'd rather not buy either one of them. For the horrible... Like, who would even offer you that? They walk up to you like, Hey, wanna buy this? Hey, wanna buy this? A toilet paper roll I found on the ground. You wanna buy it? It's still got a little bit on there. It's got the glue. You want it? Only 50 bucks, buddy. Merchant? Come on, man. Like, give me a... Like, why are you even offering me that? Like, you're dumb. What is wrong with you, dude? Would you like to buy this one shoe? One shoe 
only slightly used. One chew for $37. That's all. How about it, buddy? You can buy one chew for $37. Or you can buy this toilet paper roll with a little bit. It's got the glue. And that's it. For uh, $50. Which one do you want to buy? You got to choose. You got to choose, buddy. No, I don't. I'm out of here. Get out of here, sir. I'm not buying anything off of you. Just because it's a choice doesn't mean I have to choose, right? Like in some video games, there's a choice and you have to choose. Do you kill her or do you save her? And it's like, I don't want to do either one. I don't know. Can I please just not decide? Let somebody else decide. I'm just going to sit here and not decide. Well, the game won't progress until you choose. It'd be funny if they made that for the merchant. Like, you have to pick one. Got a toilet paper roll with nothing on it. Just the cardboard tube. You can get, hey, hey, hey. You know? You can look through it. Look at the sun. You can put your eyeball. You look in, look, it's like, it's cool. You can use it like a phone. Put it up to your ear. Maybe your buddy has one too. You do talk in it. Toot, toot, toot. You can toot through it. Duh. Put up your eye. Look through it like a telescope. Right? If you got a hamster, your hamster can crawl through it. You put it in his cage. I think it's lots, lots of value. That's how the merchant is sometimes, y'all. He offers you crap or crap. And you have to say, no thanks. I don't want crap or crap. How about this? <laughs> One shoe. No shoe strings. I glued, I glued on the bottom. And it worked. It, it only comes off, you know, it only comes off every once in a while. And, um, you know, it look, it'd be good for a spare shoe. Like, maybe one of your shoes falls apart. You can use this shoe instead if your other shoe falls apart, right? It's always nice to have a spare. Like, your car, your car has a spare tire. Why would you not have a spare shoe? Idiot. Just in case. Duh. And it's at the low price of only $37. For this one shoe I found on the on, on the power lines. Somebody threw it up there. Because they were so excited about how awesome this shoe is. They ran outside and threw it up in the air. Because they were so excited about how cool this shoe is. And then it got stuck on the power lines. And then the power went out for two hours. Because it rained a little bit. And the shoe got a little bit heavy. Because it was raining. And it got soaked. And then the weight of the shoe pulled down the power lines just a little bit. And that disconnected the power for two hours. Because they, they couldn't figure it out. Where? What happened? Did somebody wreck? No. Somebody ran outside. They were so excited about this shoe. That they threw it up in the air and it got stuck on the power lines. And then it rained. And it filled up with water. And... And it made the power go out. I don't know. I don't know why it took them two hours, though. It's kind of crazy. There wasn't a tornado or tsunami or earthquake or nothing. It's just a shoe on the power lines. That's what I called them and everything. And they wouldn't tell me. They don't know. They couldn't figure it out. They don't know what's wrong. Eventually, it was determined that it was a shoe. A wet shoe. And I now have it for sale for you. This shoe is so powerful it knocked out the power. And somebody was so excited to own it that they threw it up in the air. Can you, that, that's priceless. You can't put a price on that. That's the merchant. An empty toilet paper roll or a shoe from the power lines. Which one would you like to buy? You have to choose or the game will not progress. Staying at the speed limit is not the baddest thing. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, in a vacuum, that's a good statement. But when you're in the fast lane on the highway where there's three lanes and you have a choice to get out, out of people's way, kind of makes you a super selfish um, main character syndrome person. 
if you have the choice to get out of people's way that want to go five miles per hour of the speed limit, like most people do, I mean, you know it's true. And most people drive like five miles per hour of the speed limit, or even ten. And even even policemen, police officers, law enforcement officers, they even drive like five miles per hour of the speed limit. You just why? Like, have you ever followed one behind one? I, I, they're behind me. They will be behind me. So if you think you have to go the speed limit all the time, here's what I'll tell you. I think you're more suspicious if you're going exactly the speed limit past the police officer. Like, they're like, this, pff, this isn't normal. I'm going to pull this guy over. He's going exactly the speed limit. You're not normal at all. You must have dergs on him or something. He must be wasted. He must not have a license. He must have a body in his trunk. I would start, I'd be suspicious. If you're going exactly the speed limit, that means you like, you're scared or something. You're like nervous. I'd be following you around. I'd be, if I was a policeman, I would be like chasing down the people going exactly the speed limit. Cause that's suspicious. So whenever I pass by a police officer, I'm going like four or five over. So I want to, I'm driving normally. I'm not going to slam my brakes on. Like, that's what they're looking for. You go, if you avoid them, learn this over the years because there was time and a time and place where I didn't do, you know, it's always something I didn't do. Like I wouldn't have my stupid sticker or I would have a, a, a tail light out or, you know, my, my headlights didn't, one of them was, didn't work or something. Like it was always something stupid. Like it was never like crazy. But I would still try to avoid them. So you're going exactly the speed. You're turning when you don't really want to turn because you don't, you don't want them to be behind you or whatever. Like they're looking for that. They're ignoring everybody going five over the speed limit because that's normal behavior. They're looking for the people going exactly the speed limit, or they're slamming on their brakes, or they're turning to where you're you're trying to avoid them somehow. They're they're going after you. They're not worried about the guy going four over, five over, and just passing right by and doesn't care, like, ignores them. They let those people go, because that's normal behavior. It's when you're, like, grip your finger, you're, you're, you're gripped on the wheel, sweating, going exactly the speed limit. Those are the people they're worried about, for real. I bet you the smart ones, at least. Like, why is that guy being so suspicious? What's up with him? Going exactly... You know, nobody does that. Going exactly the... Slamming his brake. Turning. What's going on here? I'm gonna follow him. See what he's doing. He's acting awful suspicious. I think it's less suspicious to be going like three, four, five over. <clears throat> Just driving north. That's what they do. They're tooling around town. They're going like three, four, five over. Just watch a cop. They're not going to a call or anything. They're just driving normally. They're going three, four, five over. On the highway, you can go seven, eight, nine over. That's normal. Normal driving. You're suspicious if you're going exactly the speed limit with sweating. Clenching your booty hole. Like that's suspicious to me. Uh let's do dungeon. Let's fail it. Ready? Go! Yay! Alright, let's see what y'all are saying. For real though, Mark, he really did. I wasn't talking about that as karma, by the way. Oh... Anita with the gifted. Thank you so much. You're a legend. Oh, yeah. Grocery store rent. Yeah. There's like... I can... I can oh, we'll get on that. Hold on. Timestamp? Yeah, I guess. I only did... I did a couple dumb... I, I'll put a new one. I'll put one in here in a sec. Seven says, Think of the fast lane and the way you view an EQ camp. When you can... When you get the camp, you can go as fast as you want, only because they are able to... <coughs> drive faster doesn't mean they have to. <coughs> Excuse me. 
<coughs> no, Seven, that would be like an ogre blocking the entrance so you can't get out. That's what it's more like. Remember when they could do that? A bunch of ogres, like, blocking the entrance so people couldn't get by? That's what it's more like. And... Toot toot toot, says JM Ricks. What up? Mark says you need to do be a DoorDash driver in the... <laughs> yeah. Hear him so Hawk says you got that right. Rayman says Cindy was a door-to-door -door salesman in his previous life. All bluntly. Hear him Hawk says I hate the merchant. Bag says what are the rules for the roads like in Chicago where we have up to six lanes? Is one of the lanes like a carpool lane or something? Or like, I don't know. I never drove on like a six lane highway. Unless you count like three on one side and three on the other. I'd say the further left you go, the faster you go. Unless it's like a carpool. And you just, that one doesn't count. Now you got five lanes. The furthest right one is the exit lane. The one closest to the carpool lane is the fast lane. And then you got three more, huh? One, two. So the middle two are like just the regular driver. Want to go the speed limit? Passing people? And the one that's not the exit lane that's closest to the exit lane is the slow lane for all the slow people. Ivy says, I joined mid-rant. We have only two lanes, and if you want to go faster, you go left. If you go speed limit on the right, that's the rule here. Exactly. Seven says, only because one can don't mean you should. Yeah, those ogres should not block that entrance. Supernova says, some people drive 100 plus miles per hour zigzagging through traffic. Yeah, that's the op that's the other side, you know? That's the other side. Don't do that either. Ivy says, in Germany, this is completely different. <laughs> Bag says in Kentucky they have a can of PBR in the left hand, a joint in the mouth, then cell phone in the right hand as they pass the police. <laughs> Silence traps does suck. Escape from New York? Yeah. Escape from New York, those people are way cooler though. They're a bunch of dorks. Snake Pliskin, isn't that his name? I know I know movies. It's more like idiocracy, like that's exactly idiocracy. Mike Judge. Dak what's his name? Dak something? What's his name? Uh Luke Wilson. Luke Wilson. Mike Judge. Idiocracy. That that describes exactly where I live. And the <laughs> Welcome to Walmart, I love you. Um okay, anyway, we we're not doing that. Hey, you guys should do it. You should do the dungeon, but yeah. I'll just that's my reason for not doing it. got electrolytes the plants need gatorade it's got electrolytes all right what do y'all let's see invasion how about that bad baby catch me outside uh yeah i'm doing the lord of slaughter thing i think it's fun let's show a little bit of this deeper invasion and then we'll set we'll show deeper underspire Oh, I'll put a I'll put a timestamp for this. The other one was a rant. You have to catch those. You have to watch the whole video to get the rants if you like them. Some people don't. Oh, uh, deeper invasion. One oh nine. You can tell the people who are the slow and the fast laners. They defend them. You can just get over. It's not the end of the world to pull to go into the middle lane. That's not it's not an excuse. No, I'm not hurting anybody. I'm going exactly speed limit. Yeah, you're also selfish and a, a main character syndrome. You don't care about anybody else in the world. That's fine.
I'm going exactly... Technically... Technically, an outdoor zone, there are no camps, and you can only have one... You can only claim one... That's the guy that's driving in the freaking fast lane going the speed limit. Technically... Bake says in Chicago, if you leave a car length at 70 miles per hour, someone will cut you off. Dude, I just watched a video about something like that. These people driving crazy. Like, I don't, I'm not saying you should drive crazy. I'm just saying, like, leave the fast lane for the people that want to go. F Is five miles per hour crazy? Am I, am, I cra am I sounding crazy? I'm sounding crazy that I want to go 60 and a 55. I'm sorry. Uh, may maybe even uh, 65 and a 55, maybe like 64, 63, something like that. That's cra I'm crazy, man. I should join NASCAR. I can be Ricky Bobby up here. Dale Jr. Papa Willie in my car. Fast lane in Chicago is 75. Cooking, man. Chad with the two. Thank you so much. You're a legend. If I didn't already say it. I don't know that crazy language you're speaking. Mm. Let's get up the wand. Let's shoot down... This one is enchanted. Let's... Should we cast that? There's not enough uh, skulls next to brown. It'd probably still work. Let's do this first. And it still doesn't work. Um... Alright. Well, let's do this then. And now we'll just do it, because... There's only one enemy. Cut you off and flip you off. <laughs> oh no, I don't really ever get mad at the people driving fast. They're out of my life in a split second. As long as they don't do anything like too crazy. It's the people I have to stare at for a entire 15 minute drive that annoy me. When somebody's just out of my life in five seconds, why would I be annoyed with that? I'm smart. I'd rather have an angry person behind me for 15 minutes than just let them go by and have them out of my life and then they're not following me closely and being angry. Does that not make sense? I don't know. Makes sense to me for some reason. Somebody's crazy, like, what if they have an emergency? What if somebody's, like, dying in their passenger seat and you're just like eh, I'm the only person in the world and I'm gonna go slow and I'm not gonna look behind me at all and this guy can ride my butt all he wants he can read my my sassy bumper sticker <laughs> and then meanwhile there's like oh no cover up the blood no put your finger in the wound pump his chest pump his chest let's go ah get out of the way get out of the way this guy this stupid bumper sticker ah What the heck? You're gonna kill somebody like that? <laughs> You're gonna kill somebody driving slow. There's an ambulance behind you, you don't even move. Here it comes, it's been, it's like, it's up, up your butt. I'm going to speed limit, what are you talking about? Quit, quit honking your siren at me. I'm going speed in my way. I was here first. I was here first. I was here first. I'm going speed limit. Why are you honking your siren at me, van? You van? You white and red van back there? Quick honk. We have a honk in your siren. Get out. Read the bumper sticker. Read the bumper sticker. Van. Stupid van with your stupid siren horn. Stay behind me like you're supposed to. Dummy. 
big truck with the with the water gun on it, dummy. Stay back there. Get back and quit honking your siren at me, idiot. Big truck with the water gun. What are you doing? Get out of the way. Like, read the bumper sticker. Can't you read, you stupid? You so stupid, you can't even read, dummy. There's like a house burning to the ground up ahead. And just tumbleweeds because nobody's ahead of you. 50,000 people behind you. Making a parade, making a funeral procession all by yourself. Normal, just dry. I'm the only person who no no mirrors. What's a mirror? Huh? Look at my boogers. Look at my pimples. Fix my hair. That's all it's for. Don't look behind you. And if you do, you see a truck with a water gun. I don't know what it's doing. What is that? Get out. What are you doing? Read the bumper sticker, dummy. You're stupid. Can't you read? You don't want to go up there anyway. There's a house on fire up there. You're like, you just stay behind me. I'll lead the way. We'll go real slow right by it. I'll block you in. I got you. I'm the leader. Follow the leader. No, quit trying to go around me, sir. I was here first, technically. Going exactly the speed limit, technically. Don't you and your... What are you doing back there, you van with the siren? You SUV, whatever you are. Why is there... Why is there people flailing around? Pumping a chest and stuff. What's going on? You stay back. You stay back. Read the bumper sticker. You don't even know how to read. You're stupid. You stupid, you dumb. You don't even know how to read a bumper sticker, idiot. Stupid water gun truck. What are you doing? Can't you see there's a house burning up there? You don't want to go up there. Stay behind me, like everybody else. 50,000 strong back there. Tumbleweeds in front of us. I'm saving the world. There ain't nobody up there. And there's a... See, there's a house up there. It's 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 on fire. You don't want to go up there. There's tumbleweed. I'm clearing. I'm making sure nobody can go up there. That's why. See, there's like a a, a person laying in the road, like bleeding. I don't know why you're behind me, Van, with the siren horn. But you can't get by me. No way, Jose. I was here first. Go on the speed limit. There's a cop. Better slam my brakes on. Dummy, read the speed. Read the bumper sticker, dummy. Stupid. Can't even read. How'd you even get that water gun truck if you can't even read, dum dum? Better not pass me up. I'm gonna get ooh 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 a honk at you. I'll flip you off. Go by me, I flip you off, you stupid water gun truck. I'm gonna flip and give you the bird. As you go by. You suck. You're trying to pass me up, sir. I don't care if there's a dotted line, that don't mean nothing. What does that mean when there's a dotted line? Why, did, why is there a solid line and a dotted line? What does that mean? I don't know. They just didn't have enough paint. They didn't have enough paint to fix it. That's why. Duh. Stupid. Didn't have enough paint, dummy. That's why, stupid. Why else would they do that, you idiot? Why would there be a dotted line instead of a solid line? Huh? Why? They don't do that for any reason, you dumb dumb. It's because they ran out of paint, you idiot. You're so stupid. Why would they do that? They're not going to do it on purpose. They're not going to make a solid line. That does not mean nothing. The dotted line means nothing at all. It just means they ran out of paint, you idiot. Read the bumper sticker, stupid. You're so dumb. Why would they... Why would they even run out of yellow paint? I don't understand. They must have been bad at their job that day. Like, why is there... Like, all over the place. These guys don't even know how to make lines on the road. They're so stupid. Like, I'm the smartest person in the world. They're just dumb. They don't even know how to use yellow paint. They're so stupid. They're dumb idiots. Because that means nothing at all. Doesn't mean you can pass a person legally when they're going stupid slow like an idiot blocking ambulances and fire trucks and stuff telling you to read the bumper sticker, you idiot. People get so mad when you pass them when there's a freaking dotted line. Why do you think they make the dotted lines for? It's for a reason. They don't just run out of paint. 
kidding me? They'll honk at you. There'll be nobody, nobody. They're going 10 miles per hour under the speed limit. I got 50 cars behind me. Some grandma's going, grandpa, grandma, whatever, some student driver that's 15, whatever you want to say. I'm not trying to say, yeah, it doesn't have to be any type of person. Be whoever. Person driving five miles under the speed limit, just read the bumper sticker. Stupid. Don't know how to read, dummy. There's nobody in the other lane for, I can see. Because I'm like, you know, there's a dotted line. That means I can pass you. That's what it means, literally. So when I pass you, don't honk at me. Because that's what it's there for. It's for people like you. They had to design a whole different way, like lines on the road for people like you. It wasn't big for people like me. Nobody's like thinking, oh god, I want to pass this guy. No one ever thinks that about me. They didn't have to design a whole different traffic pattern for me. They had to do that for people going slow. They had to make a whole dotted line for them. So you can pass them when they're just being super selfish and building a parade behind them. That's what it's for. If you didn't know that, that's what it's for. That's what it means. That's why there's a fast lane, a mid, like a middle lane, and a slow lane. It's the same thing. It's so you can pass people, not so you can keep everybody behind you and tell them, oh, read my bumper sticker. Get out of my way, water gun truck. Stay back there. With your siren horn. Where'd you even get that siren horn? Dummies. Uh, let's see. What else can we do? Underspire. See how dry... Like, I can definitely rant about driving. <laughs> Probably for, like, two hours if I, won't. <laughs> if I didn't stop myself. Dotted line is for DUI testing. Read the bumper sticker, Calamire White. Dag nabbit. I'm not talking to anybody in particular. Just like always, Ivy. Um, Ivy says, you know how nice it is that your open traffic costs nothing? That's what we're missing. Calamir, I'm probably saying your name terribly, but... Hello, White. Mark says, I have like six pot dispensaries in a mile from my house. Nita was visiting Germany and Netherlands. Uh, Mark's in my guild, yep. Beg says, when I was in New York in the carpool lane, someone had a blow-up lady in the front seat. <laughs> oh, no. Your old guild leader is in my guild. He disbanded the guild I was in. Oh, who is it? I want the tea. Let me see. I'm reading the chat backwards, so. Most of the top players left because the guild couldn't clear an event for a few months. Uh, I'm in a better guild now. I've had that happen to me, Cookie Man. I went to a guild and they disbanded like two weeks later. Oh, uh, Cookie Man says he kept recruiting too many low-level players who couldn't meet reps, which enjoy most of the top players, but I'm in a better place now. I'm in number two guild. Nice. Beep, beep. That's what I'm having fun. When I'm going on a huge rant, that's what I'm having fun. When I'm mad, I'm quiet. If I'm going, if I'm going crazy, I'm having fun when I'm, I'm not even like, you think it's like, oh, uh, he's mad or something. Like he's, it says his blood, my blood pressure is probably lower when I'm ranting. It's higher when I'm saying nothing. That means I'm freaking mad. I'm pissed. If I'm saying nothing at all. I'm pissed. Especially on live stream. <clears throat> That's usually like some stupid PVP or 
something annoying happens, like Guild Wars, I'll go freaking two and three or three and two. That, and then you decide, just don't say nothing for like five minutes. You know, I'm pissed off. If I'm on the middle of a rant, though, I'm like, that's my happy place. Believe it or not. I'm getting it off my chat. I'm venting. All that steam, letting all that steam out of my collar. I'm just like pulling my collar up and all the steam's coming out. And it's not me being mad and needing, needing to be stopped. No, it's, that's me venting. Getting it off my chest. <clears throat> Big says, so when the police ask you to walk the straight line, say which one. <laughs> Brian says, driver's license isn't to prove you have learned how to drive. It just says you have passed a test for driving so you can be identified by the government. Most people use their driver's license to prove identity than to prove they can drive. Brian says, sorry, I get on the soapbox when it comes to driving stuff. I drive professionally for a living. I probably could, too. I think I'm a good driver. I'm not a crazy driver. I just dislike uh, the entitled slow people who back into their spot 50 times while everybody's waiting. It's the same person. You got to make the getaway, you know, the Dukes of Hazard slide over the hood thing. Everywhere they go, they must be a fugitive from the law. They don't care how many people they must that must wait. They will back into every single spot, and they're always horrible at it, too. They're never good at it. If they're good at it, I'll be fine. You know, there's a couple people that are pretty good at it. Like, I've seen, you know, like, some of my neighbors can whip it in pretty good. We're just random people out there. Take some five tries to back in a little tiny electric car or something. What is going on here? Like, just pull it in the normal way. If, like, you, if you're horrible at it, please. Go practice somewhere, dude. <laughs> like, go practice. Instead of, bu instead of going to the store and buying that bumper sticker about how people should not, should let you make them late to work every day and... Um, go practice somewhere. Get some cones. You know, get your dad, get your mommy or your daddy, like go to go to the park or something. Put some cones up. And and practice backing in. Don't make the time where you practice where there's people waiting behind you. That's not cool. Why is it taking you five tries? Why like every try you take, another three cars are waiting. That's selfish. I gotta, I gotta make a getaway. I'm, I'm the Dukes of Hazard. I gotta slide over my hood and jump through, the, like fly. Th don't even open the door. I'm just gonna jump through the window. The keys are left. If the car's on, the keys. Let's go. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna make my getaway. And they take so long backing in that they're then late to wherever they're going. So then they just it defeats the whole purpose. They could have been on time where they were going, hurried back to their car, and then backed out. And nobody would have been there because they were, like, on time or early. And then they just hurry, they hurry, and then they can just back out. But instead, they took five minutes backing their car into the spot. Now they're late, and it defeats the whole purpose of being able to just pull out of your spot that they're trying to do. They're Dukes of Hazard thing. They're fugitive from the law. Robbing a bank or something. Gotta make their getaway. All right, Chad, have a good day, man. Hey, if anybody here is a backer in her, you're probably a really good one. Just just think, I think you're a really good one. It's like if you have a, if, yeah, I like, you're not that guy. Or gal. You know it. You're a good one. You don't need to go practice at the park. Like me, I have a the backup camera. Which tells you exactly, like, it's... It's really... Like, and I still don't even back it in. I did it the other day, for some reason. And it was easy. I did it in one try. Perfect. Right in the middle of the spot. I wasn't... I didn't have my tires on the line. That's not what the lines are for. 
And people think like to park, you park on the line. <laughs> it's where you put your tires, right? Duh. That's what the line's for. You put your tires on it, dummy. Why I think it's there? For nothing. So you can line it up, boy, and put your tires on the line. Why else would the lines be there, stupid idiot? You're supposed to put your tires on them. Exactly. Line it up. Look how good I did. Line my tires up right on that line right there in the parking spot. Did a good job. Both of them right on it. <clears throat> Rantathon. Rain Man. Chad's a worker. What kind of worker? Cone killers. I definitely killed a cone. When I was like 15. I remember that. I still passed too. That's how they let, they let people. Uh, I hit a cone and I still passed. I think they let you try it again though. I was in like a big hoopty. I don't remember exactly. Maybe it's when I was practicing that I hit the cone. But I do remember hitting a cone one time. Brian says good drivers have a respect for the rules and the laws of the road. They have a sense of courtesy and know what and where they're going. Exactly, dude. So they, they are aware of everybody around them and exactly what they're trying to do. And they're not selfish, right? They're not only worried about themselves and where they're going and what speed they're going and what lane they're in. They're not only worried about themselves. They're worried about other people, too. They're looking around. They're, oh, this guy behind me, he's going a little bit faster than me. Maybe I should get over in one of the three other lanes that are empty. You know? Cause that's what I do. I'm more, I'm like, I know I'm looking at my surroundings. I'm not just in my own world. I'm more worried about everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Some people are only worried about themselves. I'm more worried about everybody else. I'm sure Brian would agree. That's, that's the strat. That's the driving strat. You got, you worry about everybody else because they all, most of them are crazy and suck. You gotta like assume they're going to be stupid. And not know what they're doing. Alright, this is Deeper Underspire. I don't even think I put a chapter. I've been crazy ranting today for some reason. Follow the rules. Yeah, follow the rules. Get out of the way. And, you know, when there's a dotted line and you can pass somebody, that's a rule, right? So why are they honking at me? Toot toot! Don't you dare follow the rules, sir! The fast lane is not... It's the... It's not... It's... it's I don't know why it's called the fast lane. In the rule book, it calls it the fast lane. But I don't know why it calls it the fast lane. What does fast mean to you? It means going on a diet. That means you go slower because you're skinnier. Because you're going on a diet, right? You're fasting. You're not eating. You don't have any gas. So you're going slow. That's why it's called the fast lane. Because you're dieting, right? That's what I think. It's called the fast lane because it's, it means a diet. You don't eat. You have no gas. Yeah, the passing lane. So get the fuck out of it. <laughs> if you're not passing somebody, get the fuck out of it. Is you can't be if you're, if you're driving the same speed as the person in the middle lane, you're not passing them. You're just holding their hand. You're just like looking lovingly into their eyes and driving together like synchronized swimming. You're not passing. The passing lane is for passing, not for driving the same speed. It's not called the driving the same speed lane. Anyway, <clears throat> you guys want to see anything else? Anybody care? Anybody want to see anything else? It's Thursday. I got to spice it up. You know, it's the class event. So, 
If you want to hear some rants, it's today. Monday, we always got so much going on. We got the weekly preview. We got to make the teams. It always takes so long. I can't even do the underspire because it takes so long. And then Tuesday, faction event, underspire. Still a decent amount of stuff to do. Wednesday, we don't even do a live stream because it's just a pet. And I got to have a day for EverQuest. And then Thursday, it's just the class event real quick. And then it's like, what are we going to do? So I tried to entertain. Nobody take it offensively. If you drive slow, you're probably a good driver. You're probably good. Yeah. I'm not saying if you're a backer inner, you're probably a good backer inner. Nobody should take offense. I'm talking about the worst of the worst. The most horrible. The person going 20 under the speed limit. The person taking 10 tries to back into the spot. That's that's what makes me mad. If it takes you two tries, hey, do better next time. You're okay. If you're going exactly the speed limit, you're technically following the rules. You're tech you're the tech you're tech you're the technically. If you like the technically, you like the technically. If you want to be the technically, you can be the technically. Like, everybody loves the technically guy, right? Everybody loves the technically guy, so go exactly the speed limit. Because the technically guy is everybody's favorite person. Anybody want to see anything else? We got PvP, we got, uh... What else would I do? Okay, I already looked at this. Done. Did that. Done. Kinda. Ooh, what I got? Hey, I got the Kill 150 Purple Troops. Remember to look up there at that. I've been mention it, mentioning it more lately because I don't feel like it gets mentioned enough. It's one of those things that flies under the radar in the game. You really got to look at that up there. Because <clears throat> it's different for everybody. I guarantee if you go to your game right now, you do not have Kill 150 Purple Troops. But you might have, like, Kill 100 whatever. And you got to get that one done so you get a new one the next day. It's similar to tribute, where you have to take your tribute every hour if you want more gems. You can't just let you can't be lazy and let it stack up. It doesn't work like that. You know, the same 25 gems you have at 11 a.m., those same 25 gems are going to be there at 3 p.m. until you take them. If I take the 25 11 a.m. gems, then I'm going to get 23 noon gems. And if I take the 23 noon gems, I'm going to get 21 1 gems. And if I take the 21 1 p.m. gems, I'm going to get 30 2 p.m. gems. If I don't take the 11 a.m. gems or whatever, I said, I'm going to get the 11 a.m. gems whenever I finally take it. So you're hurting yourself by not taking your tribute every hour. You're hurting yourself by not getting this done every day. It's the same thing, kind of. If I don't kill 150 purple troops today, it's going to still be there tomorrow. And then, and then if I complete it tomorrow, i got to wait all the way to the next day to get one, to get a new one. If I complete that today, which is the one, this is what you're looking for, by the way. Like that one, if I, it takes me two days to do that one. Like that wouldn't be the horrible because I'm getting a hundred gems. That's the one you're looking for. But still, I'll be, I'd, be, I'd be missing out on like 20 gems if I don't get that done today. Because tomorrow it would give me a new one if I got that done today. So if you kill the, if you have the one that says kill a hundred whatever for 20 gems... Like, make sure you get it done, because you'll get a new one the next day. And it could be one of those, where it's 100 gems, which is really good. Just for doing something, kill 150 purple troops, yeah? It's not even anything hard. Free gems. So make sure you always do that. You, know, you pop into the adventure board, and it's it's three crappy things, like minor trait stone souls, and something else you don't want. Don't just, you know, you gotta pay attention, look up a little bit. Just like your mirror in your car. When there's 50,000 people behind you reading your bumper sticker. You gotta look up a little bit to the kill 150 purple troops. And get that done too. Daily adventures reset in 14 hours. Like the bottom three will reset no matter what. Whether you get them done or not. But the top one is not like that. It's different. It will still be there. It's kind of confusing. It's like when they said that King Stormguard was available this week. But he's not. Venture board says it'll reset, but it won't. Like, the top one won't. It's not entirely true. And I did my dungeon, kind of. And I did all my underspire. I did all my invasion. We're all the way caught up on everything, except for, like, PvP. Which is kind of boring, because I just do Stellarix. So I don't even know if you guys like watching this. I'm getting 800 a day. 800, 1600, 2400. You know. Now I need 32. 
I'm a little, I'm already a little bit, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Dang, I hit the button. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm not playing for 45 minutes. I don't care. That was a mistake. Uh, but yeah, if I was going to do PvP, now I might as well do it for like 15 minutes at least, I guess. Um, I would go... Okay, so yellow has the blood frenzy. But red doesn't. You just flip-flop back and forth between red and yellow, or unrestricted. If you have three of them you like, you can never have all three in blood frenzy. And I'd probably... Here's this team, if you don't like... If you don't have, uh... Stellarix, Takshaka. Um, it's the passing lane. Yep. You know something to take on teams with Stella, Wand, and Takshaka. Oh yeah, I gotta do vault keys. That's true. That'd be a good thing to end on. So yeah, let's not do PvP. Let's do Vault Keys. Good idea. Same, it would be the same team either way, whether we do this or that. But at least this is more exciting as to like what you get. I still have 125, but um, we got Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So I still got seven whole days to get those opened. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm gonna zero for sure. I was gonna talk about kinda faction event preparation. Which would only apply to some of y'all. But we have the D5 tomorrow. One thing you can do is make sure you have your horde uh, level up there. Which you should have been doing like, if, you, if there's a faction you want to do on the weekend, you should know about it ahead of time. Like, when I put the spoilers out on Saturday, then you're like, oh, I better do my three a day from now until D5 comes out. That way I have Chaos Shards. That way I can get treasure. That way I can up my Horde level. Like, think ahead a little bit about the, uh... If it's a, if it's a faction you want to go to 500 in. Like, don't all of a sudden on Friday... Decide you're going to go to 500 and D5. Try to think about it ahead of time. It's Saturday. Sinny just did the spoilers. He said that D5 is going to be next weekend. Okay, I better do my three delves today. In City of Thieves or something. Sunday, do the three. Monday, do the three. Tuesday, do the three. You know, Wednesday, do the three. Thursday, do the three. And then by then, by Thursday... You have some Chaos Shards. You open some portals. You get some treasure. You up your Horde level in the Deep Hive, so you're ready to go. Whether you're going to do 100 or 111 or 133, 155, 177 or 200. That's how much you're going to have to... How much treasure you're going to have to get. Depends on that. D5 is probably one you don't have to go super hard. I would say like 133, 111. It's not one of the hardest ones. So that's what it would be. Yeah, I don't have room to complain when the guy's going slow because the stupid uh, water gun trucks behind him with the sirens on. They're stupid. I would not. You know, he's obeying the traffic laws. Going exactly the speed limit. Do not let anybody around you, sir. I would not want an angry person to be out of my life. I would not want a crazy, angry person out of my life. I would rather them just be behind me for 15 minutes while I obey the rules. Because I am so smart. Honey, when you leave today, if there's an angry... Angry giant man behind you, uh, wanting to get around you. Make sure you don't do that. Make sure you be really annoying and technically go exactly the speed limit. Because that's, that's your right, honey bunny. You know? Don't have any uh, survival, survival uh, instincts at all. Do not. 
It is your right to be very annoying and go exactly the speed limit. Because technically, that's, a, that's what you're supposed to do. So when there's an angry man flailing about behind you, you know, go really slow. Go slower and tell him to read the, read the bumper sticker, you jerk. And make sure, make sure he's behind, make sure you slow him down a lot and he's behind you for 20 minutes straight. And he knows exactly, like, don't take any detours. Just come straight home. Make sure he follows you all the way while you're going very slowly. Very, you're, you're the smart, hun bun, you're the smartest. You follow all the rules. You're a technically gal. That's why I married you, hun, because you're a technically gal. Every time I spell a word, you're like, technically, technically, that's, you spelled it wrong, honey bun. Technically, you spell it like this. <laughs> technically, if it says 45, I'm going 45. I'm not going 46. What are you smoking? Smoking crack? I ain't going 46. What do you mean? You're crazy. Technically... I gotta go 45, exactly. Not 45.5. No way, Jose. I don't care. I'm not gonna get that person out of my life in five seconds. I want them behind me for 20 minutes straight. I want them behind. I want them to read. I want them to memorize my license plate. I want them to remember my car. I want them to have time to get out their phone and record. I wanna make sure they know exactly where I live. You know? I, I'm the, I'm a tech. You married me because I'm a technically gal. I'm smart. I'm smart. I follow all the rules to the exact letter of the law. I'm super smart. Stay back there. You stay back there. Water gun truck. What are you doing? Trying to get around me? I'm following the law. I'm following the, going the speed limit. Exactly. The freaking police don't even go the speed limit. Exactly. The people that are enforcing that law don't even follow that law. That's the law they mention when they say everybody breaks it. Oh, so you've never sped, you've never gone five miles per hour over the speed limit? Oh, you follow all the rules? That's what they say, because they mention that. The speed limit, because nobody does it. <laughs> Might be different in different countries or different states, though. Yeah, there's always that. Maybe the cops pull people over for going one mile per hour over the speed limit in, you know, Germany or Alaska or... I don't know. Is your talk Shaka or bed? Huh? Orbed. Orbed. I don't know. I should check. That's a good idea. Is my uh, Stellarix orbed? Yes. And no. I should probably do talk Shaka, huh? Depends if it gets magic or not, I guess. Use a weapon, cheat a weapon into the PvP? Never! I've followed all the rules. I would never do that. I'm going 45 and a 45, and I'm never cheating a weapon into PvP, ever. How is that even the same? I don't know. I will go exactly the speed limit, but I will cheat a weapon into PvP. It's because it hurts nobody either way. Like, neither, neither. You could do the same thing almost. It's fine. You're allowed to f go five over. That's like a suggested. Like this is the safe speed to go. 45. We ran and they always have to tell you way lower. Because you could sue them or something if you. That's how I feel anyway. I don't know if that's exactly why. That's how I feel. That's how I look at it. This is the safe speed to go. And we have to really tell you something to where, you know? Like you could probably eat 50 donuts in a day, but they're going to tell you, like, don't eat 50 donuts. You should only eat five donuts. It's not, you might, you know? 
You can only take this much of this Tylenol or something, like... Because they don't want to get sued. I'm not saying I do that or anything. I'm not gonna... I just follow... I follow the directions. Well, you're probably not gonna die, either. If you go three miles per hour over the speed limit. Because they want to know... They want to say, this is how fast you should go... So you can't sue us if we, we we can't say go we can't say go this fast because we know how terrible you are. But this is a safe speed for all the idiocracy derps around here. This is how fast you should probably go. This is a, they're thinking of they're thinking of the yeah they know. All right, who we got who we got around here? Okay, idiocracy. All right, so we better put we better put. 35 here. 45, 35. I don't know. You know how it goes. The insurance rates are through the roof for some reason. I'll do five more. I can't believe I talked about that the whole time. That's crazy. Hawaiian plates. How'd they even get over here? They drive over the water? <laughs> Just joking. You drive over the water. You got a water car? How'd you get over here, you dummy? You stupid Hawaiian. <laughs> Drove in the water or something? You got one of them water cars? You got a plane car? You got... I want to have one of those. I wish my car could turn into a plane and a boat. That'd be my favorite car. Give me a boater home. That's a plane. I want to see... I want to have a car that's a boat that's a plane. Then I can do whatever I want. If somebody's bugging me, I can just fly over them. That'd be sick. Two more. And then I'll get out of your ears. I better get to work anyway. Wasting the day away. I should probably be looking for houses. But, like, I keep going on the same stupid website, and it keeps showing me the same stupid houses, and there's never any good new ones, and I feel like I'm just spinning my wheels anyway. Then you go to the other websites, and, like, you're, you can't trust some of them. Here's a seven-bedroom... Five bathroom house for five hundred dollars. Oh yeah, on Facebook. Yeah, let's let's fill out the application on that one. While we're at it, we'll drive throw we'll drive slow in front of a maniac so we can see exactly where we live. <laughs> you know? We'll go on Facebook and tell everybody we're going on vacation for from this time to this time, and the keys under the doormat. Let's do the epic. Try to grab the elemental star when you're driving your flying car. Fifth element? I never got to watch that. Is it good enough? Should I watch it? You guys need to give me some movie advice. I gotta open a drawer right now and have 50,000 movies. Are you guys good at movies? Should I watch Bay Beowulf? Is that good? Should I watch Star Wars? Is that good? Season of the Witch? What's that? Uh, Final Destination 1, 2, and 3, and 4. I think I've already seen those. Hellboy? What about Kick-Ass? I've never watched Kick-Ass. Is Kick-Ass good? Um, Spider-Man 2. X2, X3. Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2. I think I've seen a little bit of that. Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Resident Evil Apocalypse. I've seen that one. How about the Dick Van Dyke Show? No, I'm just kidding. 
Uh, Highlander. What's a Star Wars? Ready Player One. That's the one I need to watch because I've already read and audio booked San Andreas. I should not watch Paul Blart Mall Cop. The Dark Knight. What is that? Just kidding. I got the Saw movies. The Grudge. I like horror. Anyway. I don't know why I'm doing that. Alright, y'all. I'm gonna get out of here. Yeah, I think I should watch Kick-Ass and Ready Player One. If I'm gonna watch them. I might have the fifth element somewhere. I do a thing, so I have movies sometimes. But yeah... I always, I always look at Fifth Element like it's, um, that Arnold Schwarzenegger movie where he goes to space and stuff. And I know that's not, probably not, not the same. With the, the girl that has three boobies. Alright, anyway, I better go. Like, share, subscribe, consider joining, helps a lot too. Get about the channel, comment below. Sorry for all the ranting and raving today, but it was fun for me. And hopefully nobody took offense. How am I supposed to know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. How am I supposed to know? You know, like Supernova, I'm sorry if you're a backer in her. I, I was spying on you. And I just had to get it off my chest, Supernova. I, I found you and I watched you. And I know that you're a slow driver and a backer in her. So I went off on you today, Supernova. I found you, sir. It's all about you today. You know what I mean? I know exactly, exactly. Uh, that's why. That's why. That's why I went on that hour-long rant because I, I was spying on Sana. I went all the way to the Netherlands to see her driving habits, and I know that sh that would make her mad. So I was going off. Alright. <laughs> Love you guys. You're the best. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow for the faction event for Deep Hive and lots of other stuff. Thanks for joining me today, Mark, Brian, Sauna, Beg, Supernova. We had Mark, we had Sauna, we had Brian, we had Cookie Man, Professor. We had Hiram Hawk. I like your new picture. Hey, that's the Eclipse. We got Mark, we got Cookie Man, we got Rain Man. Is that a bagel? It's like a tiger bagel. Is that... Hiram Hawk, Cookie Man. You've had that one a while, huh? I always think like Tiger when I see you for some reason. And even though it's like a bagel. Because it's like really small. Sometimes you, I, I'll see your guys' picture and it's like I think of something that's not even... Because it's just like so small. Like I can obviously tell Cookie Man is, is the Cookie Monster. Can't really tell what Mark's got going on there. I'll have to click on it. I think that's Mark, though, maybe. Sauna's got a wolf. Professor, what is that? A moth or something? Butterfly? I have to click on it to see it bigger. Got an eclipse. We got a B for Beg for Mercy. We got a D for D-F-I-S Ivy. Got an S for Supernova. Seven's got a cool S. Jam Ricks with the J. Anybody else? Live wire with the lightning. That goes good with the live wire. He's a live wire. He's electricity. Uh, yoke the ham with the Y. That makes sense. Starts with the Y. And it was Sana, live wire, and Mark. Who was it? Funky? I don't know. See, I forgot already. Sana, Mark, Professor, Anita. Chad, thank you so much for keeping this channel going. I really appreciate it. Doors open, lights on. You guys are the best. Yeah, Brian, that's your picture. That's the same as me. Kind of like just a face face shot. That's what mine is too, just my picture, you know. That's Sa that's Sauna's picture too. She's a wolf. No, I was kidding. All right, y'all. Have a good day. You're the best. See you tomorrow. Peace out. Wasn't talking about you, remember? I, I don't know. 
I don't know nothing. I don't know anything. I'm not going to your house and spying on you.